the greatest lecture or sermon you will give is your example. What you do will matter far more than what you say. As my grandfather often said, we were duty bound to do the right thing, to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. In a sense, they were teaching us that what we wanted to do did not define what was right. Rather, what was right defined what we were required to do and what we were permitted to do. At the risk of understating what is necessary to preserve liberty and our form of government, I think more and more that it depends on good citizens discharging their daily duties and their daily obligations. Some of you will most assuredly be called upon to do the very hard things to preserve liberty, perhaps even give the last full measure. But all of you will be called upon to provide that firm foundation of citizenship by carrying out your obligations in much the way that those around you did, and so many did during my youth. You are to be the example to others that they were to you. The very existence of Hillsdale connotes independence. It understands that liberty is an antecedent of government, not a benefit from government. Do not hide your faith and your beliefs under a bushel basket, especially in this world that seems to have gone mad with political correctness. I admit to being unapologetically Catholic, unapologetically patriotic, and unapologetically a constitutionalist. After the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia, Benjamin Franklin remarked when asked what they had done, that they had given us a republic if we can keep it. Are we content to let others do the work, to let a few give the last full measure for liberty while we consume the benefits? If so, perhaps one day we will run out of other people's sacrifice and courage. And perhaps we will run out of courageous people willing to make the sacrifice. But this is Hillsdale College, and you are special, that shining city on a hill. Hillsdale is a trustee of the heritage that finds its clearest expression in the American experiment of self-government under law. You are men and women of Hillsdale College, a school that has stood fast on its principles and its traditions at great sacrifice and great cost. You are men and women of Hillsdale, steeped in the best traditions and principles of our great nation. If you don't lead by example, who will? I have every faith that you will be the beacon of light for others to follow that city on a hill that cannot be hidden. May God bless each of you now and throughout your lives, and may God bless America. Thank you. Amy Juliana Brennickmeyer, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Richard Anthony Castor, Bachelor of Arts, Political Economy.